everybody. It's, it's an art thing. I just want to say thank you so much for coming to my network and chill. It's such an honor to have everybody here. I wanted to say this will be a first Thursday event, so please come and show love. We'll be networking. I'll have some free artwork. As you can see, artwork everywhere. Um, have drinks, crackers, if you like green olives and you like good vibes, we are come as you are vibes as well. So I don't care what you look like. I don't care who you are. If you want to talk money, that's what we're talking about. Um, or if you want to talk about good vibes or just want to stand there and get out of your house for the moment, you can come and do so. Um, we're just enjoying each other. So please come through. You can hit me up on It's an Art Thing on IG. Um, you can set me, send me a DM or you can check out my IG for any new flyers for the next coming events. We'll be doing first Thursdays on the first Thursday of every month. So please stay posted. And I look forward to sending you information. If you sign into my guest book, we'll be able to send you those invites personally. Thank you so much. What it do, your boy 448 Brad. Uh, what's up? What's it like in the town, man? As far as the rap scene, man, you've been doing this for a long, long time. I don't want you to date me that way if you can't tell I'm old, but nigga, the rap scene's fantastic here. There's a lot of amazing artists making a lot of great content, um, a lot of great fans. It's beautiful. It's a different time since uh, back then, as far as getting your, move, you know, your music out there. What's the movement like right now? In regards to uh, what you got going on, you have anything present that you plan on promoting? Yeah, you already know. We got an album dropping the ninth, uh, fully produced by my boy Chup called Do You Know Cooler Brad. Uh, another album uh, dropping December 1st, fully produced by my boy Tony Boy called Garbage Plates. Uh, that's on the way. Got some dope videos out. Check us out. 448 Brad Piff everywhere. Ah. That's what's up. Find you on Instagram and YouTube as well, huh? Yeah, that's a fact. 448 Brad Piff everywhere. Definitely gotta get you on here, get some bars going on. Yeah, you know it. We next up. Appreciate you going here. Celebrating it's an art thing. Yeah, you already know it. it's an art thing, network and chill. Fantastic event going on here in Rochester, New York at the wonderful Frank's Chop Shop. Tap in with us. And who is this art? This artist here. This is your art, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Amazing. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I can. I do abstract art, so I can appreciate realistic art. Mm -hmm. I tried to draw nude models. I laughed yeah. the whole time, <laughs> and they think I'm laughing at them. I'm like, no, I'm laughing at me, because I don't know how to do it. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah. I see Absolutely that. gorgeous. I noticed that you noticed something as well on the uh, art. Right. Black finish. This. This is a very striking painting. I noticed it as soon as I came in. The details, the, the feeling that that person is right there, but it's only a painting. It's an illusion, which most paintings are, but that was such a graphic illusion. And I saw the two flags. So there's a little puzzle, a little conundrum here. Of It doesn't seem to be finished, but it's so dramatic and then the two flags tell you the story. It right. is finished. Right. It is finished. finished. Yes. <laughs> yes. And you seem to know this person very well because the way they've captured their soul. Oh, I, yeah. I try. You know, he's um. You told he's me. looking at you with a little smirk, like, mm -hmm, "Are you yeah. done yet?" Yeah. 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 Such a strong figure for his youth. 
Right. That was also the thing that caught my attention when I started the piece. Was How old was he? Pronounced anyway. How old was he? I think this is, is a he? kindergarten teacher. I'm um, a picture. He was and he he was that he could. He was that scene. He just yes, wow. Was amazing. That confident at that yes. age. Absolutely. That's awesome. Yes. Yes. Strong eyes. And also, a lot of times when a person is that he tends to be arrogant mm. but this person is not arrogant mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. he's at peace yes, you sir. see he's at peace you but he's him. strong yep. yes. you got Confident. that right you yeah. got that right if i could have captured that i did my job i'm so proud Thank you so much <laughs> that, that made my, my yeah. whole journey of that work you can be proud of that yes i, I feel worthwhile now now Frank is a wood sculptor for sixty years, so oh, he's yes. he's got a lot to yes. say too. Oh wow, that's amazing! I have to see some of your work. That's awesome. But like Nancy said, you know, you usually have to make a choice: do you want to be an artist, a creative, <laughs> productive artist, mm -hmm. or do you want to make a good living? Mm. So I'm eighty-six years old and I'm dead broke. <laughs> about that. I appreciate that, bro. Well, I appreciate you being honest with me. When you got a rich spirit, man, you live, yeah. you live it. But I'm still making art. I know that's right. Yeah. And hey, would you mind uh, sharing your names on film as well? My name is Frank Flynn. Frank Flynn. I'm a sculptor and a furniture designer. And uh, I have a studio down on 80 Rockwood Place next to LA Fitness and Record Archive. Oh, yeah. yeah. Somewhere as tall as his ceiling. Yes. Amazing. I've definitely heard you. Um, I'm, I'm Nancy yeah. Coons, and I actually have a gallery space in the Hungerford. We do First Fridays and trying to hold on that space for 16 years now. But First Friday is coming up, and it's open to the public, and it's four floors art. Thursday. Yep. Yep. And Margie is also a photographer. We used to go down and capture the graffiti that was down in the subway for five years. So she's a photographer. And we also would go to um, the Cobbs, Cobbs Hill Water Tower and she would travel to Miami and Wynwood. But she's also an artist, a photographer. Well, I appreciate your time coming down to so our thing. And You're welcome. To, uh, many more to come. Yes. yes. Thank you for coming to the network and show. You're welcome, honey. Yeah. Told you, I told you I'd come. Thursday. Yeah. yeah. Come on down to 127 East Ave, Frank's Chop Shop. You got to come all the way through the back. Come to the secret door. Come check out the show. She's got the fearless tees. We got some t-shirts ourselves. And you go in the back, we, we have a resale store as well. So please stop in. Capacity worldwide. support man i oh, know i'll call it it's an art thing that's only only nor is that so when i saw that she was doing something i'm like yo of course i'm gonna come down you know support see what she got going on um hard working young lady we had a lot of good conversations about some of the things she wants to do uh, some of the things i was able to help her out with so when i see people that actually uh want to take that step to me it's like yo i gotta i gotta help out you know, uh, a lot of people want instant, not process, not knowing if you go through the process that happened in an instant. Right. Uh, you know what's crazy about a rose? Right. Nothing goes through more dirt than a rose. <laughs> that's what's up. You know what I'm saying? But the rose is the only flower that's protected in the thorns. Yeah. Just can't grab one. You know what I'm saying? Right. Get hurt. Yeah. So I feel like people got to do with their brand. Don't let anybody come around and they get hurt. Stuff that I do, I tell them no. You get hurt, man. Yeah. I want too much blood, sweat, and tears I put in that for someone to just, feel what I'm saying? So, You're a busy man, so oh, take yeah. the time to, to you know, come to an event like this. I definitely oh, yeah. appreciate what you do, yeah. and even yourself. Yeah, you no know, doubt, ministry, man. Ministry, what have you, always, yeah. you know, positive things online, what have you. Yes, so, sir. So, man, what you got going on these days? Um, Man, uh, just um, 
my uh, GED center, my clothing center, my youth center, oh, food pantry, uh, 2238 Clifford Avenue, Go Ministries, G-O Ministries, Inc. 1615.com. Um, I got a couple battles coming up. Okay. So <laughs> <Something> crazy. <laughs> vegan, I'm vegan, so yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, let, let him know your rap name. I'm Quavis Walker. Just go on YouTube, Quavis Walker. Uh, uh, you'll see me. I'm the guy with the perm. Um, I got one November 14th. I got another one December 2nd. And then December, no, November 18th in New Jersey. No, December here. And then December 16th in uh, Maryland. Man, you busy, brother. Something like Appreciate your time, brother. You know, man, anytime, man. Stay tuned, yes, man. Sir, yes, We're going to follow up with you. You heard? Yes, sir. Quavis Walker. Quavis Walker. Facebook, YouTube, all that. That's what's up. I'm a holler. <laughs> you enjoyed yourself right here? We up in here in the art show. That's what's up, brother. Independent artists at its finest. Females Let putting me. it down, laying the world. You know what I'm saying? Letting the world Ooh. know what time it is. <laughs> oh, my God. That's what's up. Appreciate it, man. Peace, 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 man. Niggas, I rap and I rap, you know what I'm saying? I just popped out for my guy, so show my boy, you know what I'm saying, capacity, some love, you feel me? And just vibe, you feel me? Come network, you know what I mean? Come out here and wind up becoming part of an art show as well, huh? That's a fact. That's a fact. And it's, and it's beautiful. I know y'all probably going to have some B-roll rolling, you know what I'm saying? It's an art thing, do their thing, you feel me? And yeah, we chilling, man. What got what's going on back there? What you boys got going on? Oh yeah, yeah. You y'all, if y'all don't know, you know what I'm saying, y'all gotta know about capacity, you know what I'm saying? If you if you if you want the flies kicks in the city, man, my guy, he got it. Whatever you need, it's nothing he don't got. All exclusive feats, he got them. Word. You know what's your uh IG or as far as music is concerned, it's still yeah. artists as well. Yeah, yo, it's niggas I rap and I rap. Yeah. Y'all know what's going on, you know what I'm saying? I got that King Perry out on all platforms right now. You know what I'm saying? I need y'all to go get that. And I don't know when this video dropping, but I got the show November 11th, Water Street Music Hall. And we live, baby, you know what I'm saying? I got my boy Grio Noy from Charlotte popping out. I got my guy Hassan Mackey, you know what I'm saying? If you know who I am, Hassan Mackey is the reason. You feel me? Like, I'm, I'm he started all of this, so it's going to be a show, you know what I mean? as much as it could as well on his life. Right, so like, right. His life wasn't finished. He was a younger man, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, even though he believed in his wife being a marathon and, you know, you know there being... Well, you got the message life. across because as soon as I saw that, I said, well, it looks unfinished, but that means it's finished. Right. Keaton Higgins, I'm the CEO, owner of Heaven on Earth. It's all my pieces right here. I've been doing it for two and a half years. And what I mean by Heaven on Earth, I feel like you don't have to die to experience heaven. Find your happiness here, and I just do it through fashion. This is what my happiness is. So I got my first shirt. It's a Heaven on Earth direct to garment. No matter how many times you wash it, it's not coming off. Shirt that I got right here, almost an indigenous person standing on earth. Do a little bit of study. They were here before. A lot of things in America. And I got my signature Heaven on Earth. A uh, hoodie. Been here for three years in Rochester. I appreciate the love. I look forward to doing more things. Glad to be here at Frank Chop Shop. That's what's up. So you born and raised in Rochester? No, I'm born. I born in uh, L.A. Moved to St. Louis. Went to college in Indiana. Now I'm out here. So I'm really a, I'm a road runner, man. I love meeting new people, new experiences, just new lights. I like traveling all around the world. But I'm from St. Louis, East St. Louis. Did you get the bug to want to start your own business? Uh, really, COVID. COVID really had me in the mindset where I just had to learn new things. And I was uh, watching the Tupac interview, and he said there's some aspects of heaven and earth on this uh, on 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 earth. 
And I just took that and I really loved fashion. I really loved buying clothes, but I'm like, I don't want to buy clothes anymore. I want to do my own thing. So that's when I came up with Heaven on Earth, made like 40 hoodies sold out. And I was like, this is what I'm going to do. Yep. Time, yeah, no problem. Appreciate you. Thank you. Uh, my name is Keaton Higgins. You can find me uh, at Heaven on Earth, H-E-A-V-E-N, the number zero, N-E-A-R-T-A. -E so Heaven on Earth, with a, the O is a zero. And then I'm, I've been in Rochester for three months, so you can find me locally in Rochester on my Instagram, Heaven on Earth, uh, Heaven on Earth Worldwide.com, or Heaven on Earth Worldwide at Yahoo.com. Yeah, no problem. Thank you.